We gotta hit a shoot up here on the left. Good thing we're wearing waders today because we're getting soaked. There it goes, baby. morning guys Manny B here with the Skinny Water Boys out here with Travis Polk and Lone Star River Riders we're going for some bass maybe some striper maybe some trout let's see if we can get on them though we just got some good rain last night the water's a little bit dirtier than usual and it's up so I think the rapids are gonna be a little bit more fun a little more wild it's not gonna be it shouldn't be dangerous but we'll see I'm just throwing a jig up here in this shallow, dirty water. Just gonna send it. Water's definitely up this last time, boys. What up? What are y'all doing? Yeah, this current's strong today. It's, it's ripping. What's going on, dude? Not yet. Uh, that one looks pretty good, right? It's pretty, it's pretty wild. What's up, dude? How you doing? Hey, dude. Hey, the, no, the, what's up, buddy? All right, y'all have a good one, man. Good hey. You too. Good luck. Oh, yeah. Let me know if y'all catch. Right. Here goes nothing. Watch this right here. Here we go, boys. That first one was a little worse, I think. Woo! Ho, ho, ho! Baby! That rock! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Damn it, boy! <laughs> hey, I hit the I hit the side of the rock. <laughs> that was badass. Hell yeah! Water is flowing, boys. Right now, since the water is up, a little dirty and flowing, you want to target slack water areas where they can be holding off out of the current and like next to cover. That's your best shot in this water right now. And you want to be precise, like precision casting. If you're like three inches off, count yourself not catching. I'm gonna be straight up with you. It's gotta be on their nose, but I'll get back to y'all when I get one. Yeah. Got him. Huh? Yeah. 
little feller. Not bad. Heavy cover. Here goes nothing. Woo! Go boy. We gotta hit a shoot up here on the left. Good thing we're wearing waders today because we're getting soaked. Hell yeah. Right, right here. <laughs> yeah. Son, go, <God>, baby. <laughs> Yeah, guys, it's too windy to throw a fly rod today. Ah. Little feller. See you later. About the size of my lure. Hell yeah. That's perfect eating size, dude. A big old freaking bass. You can eat that in like a heartbeat. Big old bass and striper. All right, guys. Travis and I just had some badass water burger. Now we're back out here. The river cleared up a lot more than this morning we got like five inches of rain right <laughs> last night it was insane so hopefully we can get on some trout now busted out the fly rod the winds kind of died down so we'll see hey, stay tuned y'all thanks for watching yeah we got the catfish hunter he's on a trout <laughs> freaking monster dude Hey, we got Ooh, I just had a bite. He just shows up and starts catching, huh? Hey, damn, he just broke me off. He just snapped my line. Damn it, guys. I don't know if y'all saw that, but it just broke one off. <laughs> what up? Oh, dude. Hey, man. How are you, dude? Good, you? Good, man. Got anything? I've had two bites, and one of them snapped my freaking lure off, man. Yeah. The damn Throw woolly it. booger, man. What's oh, that's on? what I've been getting them on, too. Yeah. Woolly booger, hell yeah. They're freaking stacked right here. Hell yeah. Man, this is my friend Jason. Jason What's up, man? This is Emmanuel Barella. Yeah, Dr. Rod. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? Are y'all camping? Yeah. How far y'all going? Um, we'll go down a little further and probably find a campsite somewhere down here below. Is it cold? Yeah. <laughs> Put up some tarps, stay out of the rain. Damn, uh, yeah. It, it poured, huh? Yeah. Damn, y'all yeah, are crazy, man. Yeah. We're good. Hell yeah, we were dry. We made a whole <laughs> camp. We floated from uh, from here to the sucked. Yeah, Dude, trout we're, fishing? Nah, bass. Bass, yeah. bass and whatever else bit. How long ago? Like early this morning. We were launched by like 6.30. Uh, 
and we, we got we were done we did eight miles in like uh what was it called by 12 30. we were hauling ass and dude the water is a lot cleaner than this morning yeah. it cleared up a lot more mm -hmm. hey y'all be safe man got him got him oh that's a monster That was a toad. There we go. Hell yeah. Yeah, boy's killing it up. They're all about the same size, huh? Yeah, they're all about, I'd say the 14, 15 range. Like, like, I think it's like four, or four or six pound test on this one. Hell yeah. Damn, boy, he's carried. That was, how many is that already? Six? Yeah, six. Dude, he's already caught six fish to my zero. All right, guys. Hey, thank y'all so much for watching the video. It was a grinder that weekend of fishing. The cold front came in with tons of rain. Absolutely just, you know, shut the fish off. Uh, normally, we're, we're catching tons of bass there. Tons of big, like, you know, tons of big ones. Actually, not a ton of big ones, but, you know, they're there, but they're not as easy to catch. But, you know, we did eight miles by 12.30. That just kind of says how fast the water was going. And then the water was a little cloudy, not the best clarity in the morning. And then as you saw, or I don't know if you could tell in the video, but it got a lot clearer uh, throughout the day, which was awesome, but I wish it was like that in the morning. But, you know, it rained, so we kind of already knew it was going to be a little dirty. But anyways, you might be thinking, man, there not many fish catches or you didn't catch much but hey that's how it goes sometimes fishing isn't always catching a bunch of you know always just catching it's about the experience being out outdoors you know i live for that kind of stuff being in the wild just being in nature the main reason why i love fishing is being outdoors i i can't stand being cooped up inside all day it's just i just get annoyed but and then seeing running into a bunch of good friends out there was freaking cool i ran into a bunch of people that i knew out there that just made it a lot more fun when you run into people you know on the water and y'all all share the same passion of the love for fishing let me know in the comments what gets you out there and why like you know don't just say oh i love to catch fish give me a good reason why you like to be outdoors and why you are fishing uh you know is your escape uh you know, call, it just so peaceful, you know, throw some big old vocabulary words that I'm going to have to look up later. Old son. Hey. But anyways, guys, hey, thank y'all so much again for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, you know what to do. Hey, thanks for the love. See y'all on the next episode with Manny B.